Hello, my name is your generic betrayal. I am, in a sense, related to hypocrisy, because I involve a fashion of lying which involves shattering someone's trust by performing backstabs. I am the worst living element in the world and I deserve to be thrown right off the top of Mount Everest and then at its foot, even by a pack of color-rabbing wolverines. Allow me to truly explain my relation to hypocrisy. As hypocrisy involves lying, I make even the best of friends and family stab each other in the back by having one of my victims lie to another about their loyalty. If you've seen something like Julius Caesar or Macbeth, then you should know what I'm all about. If you've seen cartoons, then you should, how I work very well. This is why that I am not only the one of the world's most negative elements, but is also, why I fail. I take immense pleasure in seeing wonderful relationships or friendships broken into over 9,000 glass shards and fragments, because I made one stab the other in his or her back, sell them out, if you will. And when I witness this happening I ferociously whack off to the screaming and the fighting caused by the betrayal. If you think I do this, because I have no friends, girlfriends, or life, and if you think I make a blowjob myself, then you're wrong. Ha, I fooled you. How do you feel, now that I have told you the truth? Do you feel at all betrayed? Well no shit, that's why I'm called betrayal you know. What was that you just said? You think that I make out with inanimate objects? Well, I want to say that you're wrong, but what's the fun in betraying you twice? Besides, I like doing it once, because I'll get bored with it, if I do it again. Anyways, now here is what I make out with. The following objects I like to make out with are pictures of the comedian Brian Regan, the number seven, the night at the Roxbury scene, the letter N, oranges, apples, peaches, pears, pecans, staples, glue, glue sticks, glue bottles, papers, pens, pencils, telephones, keyboards that belong to the angry German kid, and bison's yes scene, not into the pit it burns line, knives, spoons, Batman's cape, Drew Pickles glasses, Chuck Norris gloves, Tony Little's treadmill, join me and I will make your face the greatest in Corey Day or else you will die line, the gay. Luigi phrase, the pinwe scene, bring some fairy dust and I'll make it a magic cloak line, the Saturday night live show, all kinds of files in your computer, people's relationships being destroyed, your mama phrases, doctor's stethoscopes, keys, keychain, your tears from the dishonesty, the dishonesty I cause, baby don't hurt me no more lyric from what is love, the samurai jack theme song. Johnny Bravo's glasses, D, D, D cases, D, H, S tapes, bras that women wear in their breasts, chicken thighs, chicken tenders, lies that have been told, the guilt afterwards, strippers poles, pornographic videos both straight and gay, and the list continues from here. When I have sex with these things it sounds like this. Ha. Swa. And that's it, because I don't know how to make a super sexy time. But tell me. What did you think of that, Mr. Truth? You're... dumb. What in the name of George Washington you... You are... You You... He dumped me. Now I'm off to do what I said what should happen to me earlier. I'm off to go throw myself off the foot of Mount Everest and get devoured by rabid wolverines. But first, who is that guy on the treadmill? Who oh, shit, I better look elsewhere. Nice try. Betrayal, but I saw you looking at me, before you could turn your focus elsewhere. My name is Tony Little, and don't think I didn't hear, that part about you making out with my treadmill. I fucking heard, that little comment. Listen up, I hate negative elements like you, because you cause the best of relationships and friendships to be destroyed and you cause one another to be untrue to each other. It's the worst fucking feeling in the world. You don't even have any remorse behind your actions, and that's just goddamn stupid. You're just a beast with no conscience, as I quote from Goku in Dragon Ball Z. So now, for all the infidelity you've caused to people's relationships and all the pain and suffering you've caused, I'm now going to return that awful sting to you tenfold. So, get ready for me to rape you in the fastest time that has ever been recorded in the history of forever. 
bend over. As long as there is infidelity and mistrust in relationships, I will live on and I can continue masturbating ferociously to the tears and pain and the mistrust I cause. Please allow me to live, don't rape me. I repent for my crimes, I want to say I'm sorry to the whole wide world and all of the relationships I have ruined at my feet. You're a liar, betrayal. You're going to stab me in the back when I leave and I won't fall for it. So, you saw through my act? Damn, you're smarter than I thought. How do you know I was going to continue destroying relationships? Because, when I catch you one day jerking off to a relationship you've ruined, I'll feel the awful bite of betrayal, and since you'll betray my trust, as you have done to many innocent victims, I'll never ever trust you. So, bend over. That's a shame you didn't fall for my act, but what are you gonna do about it? It's not like you can force me to bend over so you can rape me, so suck my dick, even though I'm just a betrayal word. Oh yes I can force your ass to bend over the honesty is the best policy you suck you shouldn't even be alive no one is allowed to have sex with my trip. No one mentions on living up. It's all because of betrayal. Well, you're the one getting ass but how's it feel now, Mitchell? Why the hell do you make out with fruits? But you want to see that he's dead because of you. So is Pac-Man. You should be burned in the fires of hell. This is just a certain bitch. The awful pain you case people is now biting you in the ass. The moment one, it is biting you in the ass. Betrayal can't suck my dick. I hate you Tony Little, but I'm still living. You think that pathetic rape is enough to get rid of me? Maybe I wasn't powerful enough to kill you off, but I guarantee that you'll never come back alive after this. Say hello to my little friend here. Hello there Betrayal. My name is Chuck Norris and I am going to stick my fucking foot right up your ass for saying that you make out with my gloves. So stand still, this won't hurt a bit. When I say that, it really means it's going to hurt, and I mean like hell. Well, I'm not a crook. <laughs> I hate you fuck Norris, but I haven't gone down just yet, because the dishonesty gives me the power to keep going. How do you fuckers like that? You may be still breathing now, but after this, I promise you won't get the hell up. Now say hello to your third session of torture. Hello Betrayal, my name is the Dark Knight Batman and today I am going to punish you by raping you with my AIDS infected dick. Let's just cut to the chase and bend over for me or else I will make the rape more gruesome. That's it. I've had it with this inhumane treatment. No longer will I stand still for you to punish me like a sitting duck. I'm going to run away. So, in the words of Afro Man, I say this to you. Suck my dick! How dare you tell me to suck your dick, you stupid son of a bitch! You better die this time! You're nothing but a cunt artist! So off, so off, so off, so noise, so noise, so noise, so noise, so My dick is quickly crashing through your veins. You can run away from this torture. Well, of course, our punishments are inhumane. Okay, I think he's dead now. 
Now that you're near the trail has been destroyed, the world is safe from dishonesty and lacks to the relationship said. Your efforts to destroy me are in vain, as I am still living. Bet you ain't got nothing. Ouch. Left up your sleeves. Am I right? Hello, my name is Drew Pickles, and I'm going to rape whatever remains of you. Prepare to die. <laughs> you stubborn little bastard. <laughs> what the hell do we have to do to finish your ass off? <laughs> Seriously, honesty is better than betrayal anyway. <laughs> betrayal can suck my mastodonic 300 mile on cup. <laughs> you won't live this time. It'll be unrealistic if you live through a Drew Pickles rape and live to tell the story. <laughs> Most men I fuck up the ass never get to live to tell it. The stupid little bitch. Make that loss well. No, 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 no. I hate you, screw dickles, but I'm still not. God fucking damn it. You stubborn ass motherfucking bitch, why the hell won't you die? That's it, I didn't want to have to do this, but now it seems I'm left with no option. No one, not even betrayal can survive the likes of an atomic bomb. Come with me, you'll surely die this time. Now that your generic betrayal has been raped three times over, beaten to a bloody pulp by Chuck Norris and turned into nothing more than space dust, the world is safe from backstabbing and selling out in relationships. However, if more evil things related to betrayal come working in your home, just leave it to the experts, myself, Batman, Chuck Norris, and Tony Little. Now, have a pleasant day and expect the Cube Muppet Christmas special from Felser soon.